everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So you'll notice all of our mechs are back. It's been about a month in game time since the last episode. Uh, let's have a look at the mech base. I got the Kaiju outfitted. Um, I haven't uh, really tackled this Lone Wolf yet. I'm not really sure what to do with it. I mean, we could do... Um, we could do a, 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 another Goss build with Goss Rifle in each arm and then Hyper Velocity Goss in the shoulder with maybe one of those Rapid, rapid Echo Bore, whatever they are, Rapid Fire Goss Rifles in another arm or Torso or something. I don't know, maybe. Not 100% sure on that yet, but we're going to leave that for now. Uh, a couple of the mechs have gone through a few minor changes. The Naga D, uh, after that last mission, I thought I would change it slightly. Just strictly using the um, strictly using the arrow system was kind of weak, and the guided missile arrow really wasn't working out for me. The fact that it does no splash damage, if we can't hit with it, what's the point, right? So I swapped out the guided system. Uh, I took out the Artemis, swapped out the guided arrows, put regular arrow systems in. I pulled out the advanced AMS and went with an AMS Mark II. Uh, the reason was it because I wanted to put some secondary weapon on weapons on here. So I got a medium X-Pulse and an ER medium laser so that this mech can close and do battle once the arrow systems are lower or if we need a mech to get in a little, you know, a little closer and do some damage. So we can go ahead and do that if we need to. Um, it's got lots of armor too, so if our frontliners are taking some damage, this guy can move in. And I mean, it's not a lot of damage. Medium X Pulse only does 45 for 28 heat at close range, right? And ER Medium is only like 20 damage at range. So, I mean, we need to get in closer to use these, but you know, that's this. But we got the long range and extreme range on here with the sensor tracker, so hopefully it hits better. Uh, you know, hopefully it's going to hit with the uh, these things a little better. Uh, at least do splash damage. And then I did a little minor tweak to the AMS night gear. Um, I wanted to give this thing a little bit of firepower too. Uh, so what I ended up doing is I tweaked a few things around here. So I pulled out, um, what did I take off of this thing? Both ER medium lasers. I also switched out the chameleon system, which I didn't really feel we were getting a lot of bonus out of on this guy. So I put in Pharaoh to get some get some weight uh, on this thing. Uh, put in Omnipard lower arms to make the LRMs hit a little better. I swapped out the two mediums for uh, the ER large blaze fire laser, which does 50 damage at 750 sorry 780 meters, so it can fire at range. And then I dropped another ton of LRM ammo in, and then everything else. Oh, and one heat sink. Too, just so that everything else you know stays the same so we're still pretty heat efficient 8476 keeping in mind that the AMS's will be generating heat every turn uh, I didn't I was gonna put another ton of Hydra ammo in and I'm like I don't know I'm kind of feeling like it's a bit of an exploit weapon now, I know it really isn't because it's I, th I think it's working as intended but if it's hitting internal structure it's pretty much killing a mech anyway so I think three tons on here is fair. If we strip a mech of its armor, this guy's got a good chance to kill it. So, you know, I'm going to leave it on there just so that, you know, we've got a, a guaranteed kill if we need it, but I'm not going to take it off because I'm not really sure if it's working as intended or not. I, I don't, I'm not 100% sure, so I don't know. So we'll just leave that in, one ton in there. But I added the extra ton of Artemis ammo because... Um, each one of these will give us three turns of firing. So that's 12 turns, 15 turns with the Hydra. So I think this guy will be able to stay in the battle a lot longer with the LRMs. We've been running out on longer missions and we are going to be taking a longer mission today. So I want to make sure we can at least stick it out a little longer with this guy. Plus the ER large blaze fire. At least we can stand back and just shoot at people from a distance with this thing. So that's kind of nice to have in here too. Um, and then uh, let's go to the Akaiju. Now, I don't know how I feel about this mech. Honestly, I don't. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, where are you, baby? Where are you? Yeah, see, it's like not even in the upper quadrant here. So let's have a look at Kaiju. So it's a PPC build, obviously, because of the PPC computer. So with the PPC computer, we're getting plus two PPC accuracy, 25% increase in damage and 15% heat generation. So the heat generation is going to be an issue with this mech, but it will and it won't. So let's have a look really quickly. This heat efficiency, just so you know, I'm taking this with a grain of salt because I have no idea 
until we hit the battlefield how it's going to function uh, because we do have heat dissipating armor on here much like we have on the um, our dashi um, the pinpoint mech so uh, I don't think this thing is going to overheat I, I really don't but I'm not 100% sure so we'll have to have to see how it goes all right so we got the two heavy risk PPCs at plus 25% damage um, this thing is going to be hitting probably for around 100 including the pl plus 10% from the pilot so you know around 100 points for each of these risk PPCs which is nice and then the regular ER PPCs at uh, 25 damage probably be hitting for close to 80 each roughly so that's like 360 damage not too bad so I threw a couple of tags on here as well um, because if we this thing is a breacher computer so if we're gonna switch up uh, targeting one PPC on one guy and one on another or whatever we do uh, having the tags to tag multiple opponents is a nice idea as well so that's that um, then we have the uh, sensor trackers on here which we got picked up in the last mission which we needed because this is a battle computer we were able to uh, uh, drop in the long range the extreme range tracking for evasion ignore and plus one to energy accuracy so this thing is going to be pretty darn accurate with plus three accuracy to the PPCs uh, now I couldn't add Omnipod arms or anything in here to, to help out but at least this, these three will help out with the arm mod and then the extended range if this guy's just standing back shooting he should have good accuracy now we've got a heat bank and the heat dissipating for a greater overheat threshold and uh, maximum heat multiplier so this thing won't shut down mostly almost likely due to overheating um, but we should be okay got an AMS in the center torso and a pair of assault uh, jump jets so we got a little bit of maneuverability for this guy so we can get up on hills and things like that and then of course we're running the, running the prototype double heat sinks in here and a guardian ECM to round things out uh, it is a radical prototype double heat sink kit though I want to get a regular one um, but we'll use the radical one for now the reason why I want the regular one is we can uh, add two heat sinks in the center here to free up some space to be able to do stuff with um, but yeah so that's this guy and we're going to run this in this battle today I think just to give it a shot and see how it works out so with that all being said I think that's it I don't think I touched anybody else here I was going to have a look at the Atlas 2C but I think I left him as is I believe uh, or did I no I was going to have a look at to see what we could do with this um, but I don't think there's really much with the rack 10 and the rack 20 there's really not much more we can do with this thing so it is kind of what it is all right so let's go into the battle this will be a good battle today so command center now we're gonna take this one emergency evacuation attack and defend for Jade Falcon against clan wolf so this will be a fun mission to do time sensitive obviously so we're going to have a hard time making our way through this but we will go ahead and do it anyway it's in the badlands so i haven't done one of these in the badlands yet so this should be interesting heat wise so let's negotiate this i don't want to accept that yet where's my back button all right it's four and a half skulls so i'm not sure what to expect here we're going to accept it now let's go ahead and make sure we've got our primary crews in here all right so uh, we need Dallas a leader Dallas multipass who by the way has got tactics eight now so I believe that's called shot mastery I think it's eight that gives you that is it her no it was duck sorry that got called shot mastery um, so we've got him now I'm gonna give Dallas the Kaiju because she's got multi-target now where is so goofy and duck now I want to run where are you here uh, I'm wondering if we should give goofy the uh, so this is gun dolls mech here where's the Zeus bring the Zeus down okay uh, we're gonna need to run where's our AMS boat here you there's the you so the AMS boat let's give you to duck um, this is going to be an interesting fight I wonder if we give goofy this guy he's one of our better gunners 
Well, let's bring our pilots in. Hellion, Gundal. Where are you here? Um, Mastodon. Workhorse. For some reason, his... Um, uh, his warlord doesn't show up. I don't know why, but whatever. Um, all right, so... Interested to see how this mission is going to go. Now, we could run the Orion. I still think, though, I don't know what to expect here. So I'm wondering if we should still run this. Um, the Arrow Mech, probably for sure. Do I want to run the second Arrow? I don't think so for this. I think we're going to need... Okay, Goofy, you get the Kaiju. Let's leave Dallas on the Lone Wolf. Yeah. Let's go this route. See how it plays out. Um... I think we'll be okay at four skulls. So let's just do this and see how we do. All right, guys, we crashed on the way down here, so just trying to get into this. Now, at first I thought we were facing Clan Wolf, but it's local government forces. Looks like we've got some mechs here to help us defend. As long as they don't shoot us in the back, I think I'll be good with that. Uh, looks like that's the sh the enemy. There's the base we got to destroy, and that's our future evac zone, which I don't think we'll need. I think we should be able to destroy that base and be fine. Yes, Commander. All right, uh, I'm going to reserve on this first turn. I'm going to reserve it back. I'm going to play a little neutral here. Because um, I want them to move first and stuff. We'll be slower on turn two, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, reserve. We're going to be in interesting positions here. I think they're going to have the height advantage on us up here. So we may want to get over here and get up some height. Maybe go over here and get some height. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. This guy's probably already gone. Yeah, 18. All right, um, let's see if we can get a line on that guy now. There we go. Should be able to handle him just fine. Oh yeah, can leave this off. I don't think we need it, but fire everything else. Oof. Yes, come in. You got a lot more shiz on you than I thought you do. Yeah, you're stuck. And hey, guess what? We don't have jump jets. Well, it looks like you're going to be running as an emplacement today. <laughs> he sounds visibly upset about that. Okay, let's get our, our uh, arrow mech up here. Uh, I have no idea where the enemy is. So let's just use a couple of standard rounds on this guy. That is a hit. I'm receiving you. Okay. Not gonna have sight on him. Let's put you over on this side. I gotta spread out. That artillery is gonna be coming in sooner or later. I know it. Let's get over here. See if we can shred this guy. Okay, one laser hit. Beautiful. That one's gone. Well, they ain't seeing us. Ready for order. Not yet, anyway. Alright, let's get our AMS on overload. Embrace here. Commander. Uh, 
sure. Oh, there's a guy right here, I think. Unless that was me. How far can you jump? I know I got a couple of... That's actually not that bad. Well, that's a move. Jump. You can actually jump farther than you can move. Oh, no, I can sprint farther. Okay. I can jump farther than I can move, though. Kaiju jumped? What? Uh, let's get over here. Oh, there was somebody there. Alright, we got some enemies here. Hellslinger. Uh, sure. Receiving you. Alright, um... Uh, Get up here. Both AMSs fit everybody. What do we got here? Cr carrier. Hellslinger. Thunderstruck. Not so worried about. Grand Summoner. Let's target this carrier. That is pretty good heat. Uh, yeah, that's far at all. Okay, that hit. Nice. Yeah, I feel better about putting that blaze fire on here. I've been wanting to use it, but haven't really thought of any, like, good thing to put it on. But I think that's yeah. probably a good, uh, good platform to put it on. I think you can probably shred this guy. Gonna drop the Warlord in early. See if we can get a kill on this guy. On nope. I don't think he did. Okay, let's get down here. Okay. Let's get in the trees. Uh, now that we've got some sight, Let's use a pair of regular arrows on this guy. They are spread out, so... Beautiful, he's gone. Nice. There's like 60 or 80 missiles I don't have to worry about. Better not shoot me in the back. I guess I should be using the arrows in the buildings, but I think we're good. It is local government forces, so I got a feeling we can steamroll the front line. And we'll have visual range on these buildings very shortly. I hope we do. Uh, yeah, man. I know you're an immobile platform, but you might as well take a shot at this guy. Ooh, one hit, nice. They're going to have to get close to hit you. Another Shrilton, eh? They got a sensor lock on me. As long as they ain't shooting at you. Let's give this Grand Summoner the what for. He's just been standing there, so... Uh, yeah, he's in a world of hurt. Confirm. Offensive push. You can only target one. Why won't you let me target him? Let's go for the CT kill on this guy, hopefully. And firing. No kill, but good damage. Don't know if all three hit, though. Probably that Cascatel figuring out what to do. Okay, who do we got left? 
AMS. They're banging through my armor. Not for long, they won't be. That's this guy, eh? Okay. Yes, Commander. All right, you get an opportunity to use those PPCs. Let's fire and then maneuver. So we got this extreme range carrier, two ER PPCs at 53%. That's not bad, I guess. 73 in the Cascatel. Ooh, this guy is going to be like in a world of hurt. So I know it says 75, but it can't be with the PPC capacitor and stuff. Uh, let's not let this guy fire. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Uh, that's the shrill tin. Cascatel. And this guy. Now, we put the... This would go B and C. Now, I don't know if the tags... Oh, the tags can't reach anybody else. don't know if the tags considered... Yeah, see, the damage has gone up for this guy, but not for this guy. I don't understand. Good to go. It's only doing 75. Does that... Oh, we hit that guy. Does that mean the heavy risk PPC is not considered a Certainly. regular PPC? And thus doesn't get the 25% bonus? Or maybe that's just not working as intended. That's interesting. Because we should be getting a 10% damage bonus from Goofy as well. Oh, but we didn't war. We didn't do. Um, didn't do Warlord though. I don't know. I don't know. All right, what's this guy? Fire support demolisher. It's a fire demolisher. Fire demolisher. I'll be dead in a second anyway. I'm gonna sick Hellion on him. Wait, who do we got left here? We got Dallas, Gandal, Mastodon, Workhorse. That's not bad. Hellion. Don't. Why are you going on 16? Wh who? We don't have Mastodon left? I'm not paying attention. That's what it is. I'm not paying attention. Yeah, we just got Mastodon left. Alright, what do we want to claim here? What's this guy? Heavy TBM 10 carrier, fire support, to fire mullisher. I think we could probably kill this guy. Oh, maybe not. Maybe. Let's warlord it. Let's go after this guy. And fire. Yeah. Scored a critical hit. Not bad damage. Confirmed. Let's move over to where the AMS mech is. So that was it for us. Okay, we got duck first now. What's up, boss? What's up, boss? You got that right. All right, who are we shooting at? Cascatel? That's nah, not going to be a kill. Could damage that, could damage that. Let's move then. There we go. Let's go on this guy. See if we can get him. Nope. Inflicted some heavy damage. Yeah, but no kill. Right here. Mm -hmm. 
Let's kill that five molasses here if we can. Um, let's try and stay heat heat managed here. Let's go after the fire molisher. Okay, good frontal damage. I think this guy's got to go. Shoot, out of range, and he's easy to kill. So let's not do that. Let's get rid of this guy. Engaging target. Thought for a second there we weren't going to get him. Destroyed. Thought for a second there we weren't going to get him. Alright, let's do the multi-target on this guy. We're going to go here. And this is another carrier, right? So we're going to go... Yeah, let's go this route. Hopefully we can get A with 40. No. Crap. Alright, a little bit of damage on that guy. Not a lot, but a little bit. Let's get back over here again. Location confirmed. Try and take my kill, eh? Trying to take my kill. Who's that moving? There's a vehicle, but I didn't see any vehicles moving. Was it the copter? Maybe? The Cascatel? Probably because we got like no control now. Probably. So who do we have left? We got Gundal left. Workhorse. So we got our arrows. We should have Dallas left too, right? Dallas and Goofy? I know we got Dallas left. Wonder if we should let them arrive. Because we should have most of these guys shredded by the time the uh, reinforcements arrive in seven rounds. I don't see a lot of good salvage on this battlefield right now. I mean, we could pick up some arrow. Well, we could pick up arrows if we wanted to. Don't really know what we need. Maybe another clan Goss rifle. If we can pick up a heavy Goss rifle, great. I mean, I've got a couple of extra tons of ammo. Not a lot, but a couple of extra tons. I've been trying to keep my eye open in the store because if we lose ammo, out of our current dashi, that would be a problem. So I've been picking it up when I see it. Now let's see. We got so Dallas could finish off Grand Summoner. Um, workhorse with the arrows could finish up this guy, and then maybe we get Gundal to fire on this other guy over here that we've hit. Or this guy here. The sh well, no, we should probably try and kill the uh, the Aerodon here. Or the uh, Air Demolisher. What, I don't know what you call an Aero Demolisher. The Thumper, the Thumper Demolisher, the Thumpolisher. That was kind of a cool name. Not the thump all you're trying to figure out what to do. That was good hits though. No, it's the fucking stealth bomber. Sorry, pardon my French. God, I hate those things. Lots of armor. Just stop, please just stop. You got eyes on enemy units surrounding their base, do you? Really? Because we haven't engaged anybody yet, really? 
Not enough for a kill, huh? Of course, we hit the side when we're shooting at the front. Are you kidding me? Like the opposite side. I don't even know what to say. Oh, they got arty like crazy now, eh? Alright, buddy. Hammer that thump all sure, please. Alright, we're gonna multi again. Because a breacher. Let's go a third one against the carrier. We're gonna go these two on A, this guy on B, this guy on C. And fire. Multiple targets confirmed. Of course it's not a kill. Because why would it be? At least we're doing full damage with those hits, though. The big PPC hits. Thunder! He's trying to get a shot at the base. He's going to get shredded by these guys if he gets too close. Okay, who do we got left? Uh, Gundal. Gundal. And Workhorse? Really? Yeah, we do. The arrows. We haven't used them yet. So let's drop a couple of them. Fire, fire bombs over here. There's the Cascatel. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Yeah, I know. Waiting for orders. Oof, really. I should really fire on the stealth bomber. That guy's pretty much done. Let's drop it right here. Okay, we got the one guy. Two guys. Actually, let's just stay there. That's really hot. Get the dial back. Dial that back, man. Okay. Where's the Atlas? Uh oh, yeah, he's back here. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Oh, he's locked. He's landlocked. We're only using seven guys. Might get lucky and get a shot at somebody, but unlikely. Maybe the Cascatel's in range. Wouldn't that be nice? We could shoot at him. God damn it. <sighs> there goes the blaze fire. Not much armor left in that location. Losing armor. God damn it. Really? Freaking stealth bombers, man. Ah. Well, I mean, I can replace it with an ER large laser. It's this basically the same range, but it's five points less damage for the same heat. But still, the it was a blaze fire. All right, let's stop effing around and start killing people, please. Yeah. Can't target anybody? Hell out of range, huh? Yeah, thanks for showing up. God. Prefer having turrets. Although maybe not, because those la that uh, first attack and defend that we did, the turrets didn't even fire. All 
All right, we got to kill these stealth. Well, we got a couple of turns before the stealth bombers are. Uh... Yeah, thanks for showing up. Before the stealth bombers are ready to fire again. But if we can get rid of them sooner rather than later, that'll be good. Got one carrier here. Second one. Oh, they got turrets, man. Nope, that's another launcher up there. Okay. A little bit of penetration. Uh, can we fuck some people up, please? All right, we're jammed in the rotary. That figures. Um, Thirty-three, huh? Let's see what we got going on here. This guy, how badly damaged? <laughs> she got like nothing left. Uh, maybe we do a multi-target Cascatel. It's not going to be a kill. A little bit of damage on that guy. We might get that guy. Heavy carrier, huh? Alright, let's multi-target this. B will take that guy. Hopefully we can kill him. Let's get some missiles on this guy. Alright, not bad. Nope. It was a guess. It was a pot shot. Let's get back over to where the friggin' uh, AMS is, please. See if we can get a kill on this heavy carrier. Beautiful. Can you do something? Anything? I would have preferred you hitting somebody else, but sure, whatever. Okay. So we got... who's next? Mastodon's done, Hellion's done. We got Duck and Infiltrator next. Uh... Yeah, I know. As long as the AMSs are still functioning, that's really all that I care about. Get into here. We got backups too, so not that I'm not with that worried. Hydra's out of range, huh? All right, well, fire with this. The shot. Might get lucky, hit the turret. Nope. Nope. Can we get a shot at a stealth bomber? We can from right here. Hopefully, that'll be a kill. Where's the stealth bomber? There you are. Wow, 38, huh? 29. Shrilton, maybe? If we hit... Well, let's go after the Shrilton. Let's see if we can get a kill on him. Now we can just shoot everywhere though and strip some of the armor off. That'll work, I guess. Ready for orders. I'm gonna do this. Let's target this back guy. Yeah. Thunder. Good luck shooting anything. I'm here. 
Let's vigilance. Um. You're not cooling very much, though. Yeah, I know. That Mac's supposed to be the one that doesn't overheat. Now, is it just the, uh, it is, damn. Yeah, I was hoping we could hit with everything. Oh, now the damage has changed. 94, that's where it should be. Why is it only 75 on this guy, though? Let's get rid of their scout here. Um, we get him? Nope. We actually hit him? Sound like we hit him. Looks like we did. Stripped a lot of armor. Not enough for a kill, though. Yeah, cooling off anytime soon. Lisa, keep their. I mean, that's the right thing to do is to keep her quiet. Who do we got left? We got Gundal. That's it, I think. Who can't do anything? So the Cascatel. If he moves forward, we can kill him. Well, we might be able to target this guy. But we'll see. All right, Gundal. There we go. Be nice if we had you at the front line, but you're just a turret today. Roger that. Whoops. Sorry about that guy. You're in my way. Am I stuck like right in the building? Probably, huh? It's a shootist. I'd have respect for you if you could actually hit something. What is that Black Knight doing? Come on, kill him. Damn it. There we go. All right, let's see if we can do this. Here we go. Nice. Nice. Vehicle kill for me. Standing by.
Um, I want to get closer so I can see this base, but I guess not, eh? Restructures, huh? Do we kill one of their guys? My internal structure. Standing by. Let's get everybody into advanced AMS range. Or um, AMS Mark II range, that is. Yeah, we'll fire on this guy. Eh. Eh. Okay, what do we got next? What do we have next? Gondol. No, you go last. Where are we here? We got Hellion gone and workhorse went. Mastodon. Where are you? Out of range, huh? Alright, let's get up here. Barn on this guy. Still going. No, he's not. <laughs> I take that back. Fire's out. Um, at least it looks like it's out. All right. My yeah. Is high. At least your ammo doesn't explode. All right, um, all right, got something else on sensors. Is that one up on the hill? Yeah, we'll fire it all. Engaging target. Nicely done. Enemy unit destroyed. Those stealth bombers, look at this thing, it's flying across the battlefield. Do you see it? Oh, I was going to say, I wonder um, where those stealth bombers are. They're going to get a chance to shoot again, which is kind of annoying. They do a lot of damage. Hopefully they can't. If we can kill this guy, they may not be able to see us. Which means they may need to push. Then we can just get everybody on them and kill them. There it is. God damn it. Oh, man. Well, there's the stealth bomber. Only got two, huh? Take a pot shot at him. Nope. He's off the map. Cheating bastard. He's off the map. I can't target this guy. Whatever. Yeah, feel free not to shoot the guy that's right in the midst of you. Oh, man. Taking so we can't take any more of those hits, man. We're going to be in big trouble. 
Beautiful. Beautiful, guys. Ah, we can't reach that. I copy. Oh, we got a sign on this guy. What is it? Runner 2, really? Confirm back shot. Um. That's that stealth bomber shooting down our missiles. Cannot get to that stealth bomber, eh? All right, well, let's fire on this guy. Nice. I know we, we know we got two stealth bombers and a crawler left. I'm receiving you. Why are you such why are you overheated so much? Why can you not cool down? Watch my heat. Why can she not cool down? Don't understand that. Copy that. Uh Don't know whether the Inferno is worse against these guys or better. I don't think it gets hit by a shrapnel though. Probably just the ER larges on this guy. Yep, fire all four. No hits. All right. Yes, Commander. Keep pushing that bastard. Confirmed. All right. See if we can get him. Nope. Damn it. No joy. Not even one hit, huh? Right here. Confirm. Hold it. The AMS aren't doing us any good any anyway right now, so Pull back over here. Well, he's moving in to make it easier to, for us to kill him anyway. Well, at least he didn't target uh, the uh, AMS mech this time. Calm down. Here is the mine killer. Ready for orders. On the move. Now we got yeah, Hyder doesn't reach. Oh well. I copy. Let's force him to use up his AMS on that. I copy. Do you? 
Dear. Confirmed. Oh, we got targets on buildings now. Beautiful. Uh, this is a multi-target. This guy. Come on. There you go. Oh, come on. A. Oh, he's a stealth bomber. You can't multi-target a stealth bomber. Because, of course, you can't. Can we target this guy as a B? Sure can. There we go. There, here we go. All right, one down. Just got to make sure that stealth bomber's AMS is used up. Okay, cool. That's nice. All right, you know what you need to do? Here it comes. Yeah, thank, thanks for showing up. I don't know if it's going to be better because you can't use... I don't know if this is better or not. Oh, yeah. Nicely done. Let's not move. Now. I don't know if we'll get a shot at the buildings from here. No. Nope, can't get that lucky. Yeah, you keep running around, buddy. All right. Down, moving out. No shot at the buildings. We're going to use this, though. So we're going to take some severe losses in C-bills off this one. Fingers crossed that they've got a blaze fire. <laughs> Highly unlikely. All right, Hellion. Is there a way up this hill? Maybe here? Yeah, there is. How many turns we got? Two rounds. I don't know if we're going to be able to see the buildings from over here. Yes, Commander. Nope, not yet. Well, hopefully Hellion can go up the hill and just spot them for next turn. Yeah. Good to go. As long as your ammo ain't cooking. You know what I'm saying there? Affirmative. You know what I'm saying, Jock? I don't think if you rain LRMs down that they have a chance to hit those buildings. Pretty sure they don't, but we're going to do this anyway. Just to see. No, they don't. Which is really kind of sucky. Standing by. Man, they really cooked her. Full throttle. They really cooked her. Orders. What is? You just hang out there, man. Oh, where? Right behind us. They won't get a chance. Okay, girl. 
this victory is yours. So this will go to B and the rest will go to A. Ooh. You fell short. That's all right though. We'll we'll can still we'll still consider it her kill. There it is, folks. Let's get out of here. Mission successful. A good example of why we should have uh, those AMS Mark II's or the advanced AMS on more than one mech moving into a battle like this. But uh, yeah, there you go. That was some pretty heavy damage to the Night Gear, although it did manage to survive fairly well. We only lost an LRM-20 off the one arm here. I think everything is replaceable. LRM, well, except for the Blaze Fire. We got the, we got an lower Omnipod. We got Artemis 4 ammo. We're, we're fine with, for replacements. We can just put an ER large laser. All right, let's see what we can get out of this. Hopefully it's something good to make up for that because that was pretty crappy. Uh, there you go. Battlemaster? What? Was that one mech? That was a Battlemaster? Really? As much as I want to take that, I gotta check down here first. I'll take the battle map. I've, it's. I don't think I've had a battle master in any series that I've played. Rack twenty pirate. I've already got that. And we got a rack twenty, but not a pirate version. Not that we have ammo for it anyway. C three masters, cores, fuel cells, XL engines. Any good cockpits? Plus one energy. The thing I don't like about this cockpit is it increases the energy weapon um, range by 10%, but it also increases plus 15% heat generation from weapon uh, any weapon fire. That's crazy. But I don't know, man. Increased crit, chits, crit chance, accuracy, and range may be worth it. I don't know. Don't need any of these things. Uh, missile range. Already got one. Don't really need it. Warfare suites. We've got like what one? Yeah. Air four ammo. We have fast cam. I don't know. Is that is that worth it? Forty percent damage penalty below air burst range. Twenty bomblets after three hundred meters. So if it's below 300 meters, it's 40% less damage, maybe? Three mines per projectile, six minefield radius, 45% mine trigger chance. That's pretty good. One mine damage, one mine heat damage. This is what they used against... Is it what they used against Hellion? I don't know. Let's grab that. That's, that's a good versatility, I think. Anything else down here? Rack 20 double. Now that makes me want to take the Rack 20. It really does, but I don't think it's worth it. Hydra ammo. Twelve shots. So we'd have 36 shots. If we ran three per... three per Rack 20 shot, we'd be able to go for 12 turns. Which isn't much. Um, let's grab the battle master part. Uh, wow, this is really junk here, eh? Donald PPCs. What's the weight? Seven tons. What's so good about these guys? Um, it's the same, less heat for this, and the same weight and less damage as a regular PPC. Less range. Well, no, I guess that's about the same range. I don't know. Don't know what's so good about that. Regular arrows, regular AMSs. Take the Battlemaster part. Um, 
we take more arrow ammo like inferno probably as a backup because we don't have any extra inferno ammo just in case you know once again that the uh local government forces show that they can actually do some damage to us if we're not careful all right let's take these all right atm6 it doesn't really matter what we get out of this. I don't think there's anything we really want. Indirect, we can sell those. Heat sink doubles. We'll hang on to these because we've got um, the uh, inner sphere double heat sink um, royal heat sink kit. Um, AMS ammo, that's actually good because we need some more of this. Uh, I want to get another one of those AMSs running and we just really need the ammo for it. The doubles is what we really need. Um, Thunder Augmented. Ah, okay. Oh, 713. There you go. Eh? I like them apples. Well, let's bring forward that uh, Marauder 2. See what it's like compared to the one we have. Now, the one we have in storage is which one? We got the 4B. Pair of AC-10. So this is the one with the ballistic and the arms. This guy, com compatible with 4B, um, eh, let's just let's just ready it and see. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Alright, let's have a look. We'll probably just end up selling it anyway. Doesn't look like there's much on there. Okay, Donald PPCs. Yeah. Almost the same loadout as the Kaiju, except Kaiju's got one uh, support in the center torso and missing two lasers here, but two missiles on this side. So it's a little bit better. Kaiju's got more versatility. This is really just like the old version of this. So let's drop this guy out of here. Let's just get rid of him sell them off or something here. Alright, let's see what we can get for this guy. Eh, 1.7 million. That's pretty good. So at least we'll be able to affect our repairs. Alright, so I'm going to figure out a loadout for this guy between episodes. I'm not sure what I'll do with him. I'll put something together just to see what he looks like. Alright, um, and then get the, get the uh, mechs repaired, or at least our pilots back. we got some mechs here we can do another lower level mission with. we got our second lance too. So maybe we figure that out. Um, do a mission like that between the bigger ones um, and get our mechs back before we do another big one. Alright, so I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.